so I'm going to vlog today. I don't know why I'm whispering, but there's a lot of working professionals around here. I don't want to disturb anybody. Matter of fact, let me wait till I get outside. All right, that's better. So I'm on my way to the barber shop. I have, what's up, buddy? I, um, I need to get a haircut. That's why people go to the barber shop, right? <laughs> anyway, yo, it's weird. I, listen, this is about to be my two year anniversary of taking YouTube seriously. And I'm still super awkward in front of the camera. It's weird, I don't know why, but whatever. Um, what did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, I don't know. I do know. No, I don't. What's going on right now? Oh yeah, I figured it out, I remember. It was the coaching program. So, I figured out exactly what it was that allowed me to transform my body, right? So now with the coaching program, with this mission to transform a thousand people's lives and a thousand bodies, I figured out what I'm going to do to make that happen. So for me, I had to reinstall my operating system. I don't know a better way to say that. I had to change the way I think. I had to change my relationship with food. I had to change my habits. And I've been working on a model to help people do the same exact thing. I think everyone can do what I did. I know everyone can do what I did, but it starts with some reprogramming. So what I'm doing is I'm working backwards. I'm going back in time to when I was 360 pounds and every step that I took, every decision, every action, I'm putting it into a model, a step-by-step -step model. For some people, it may be a six-month model. For some people, it may be a 12-month model. But I'm putting together a model that the coaching program that I'm building is going to be based on. I'm going to be qualifying people for this program. It's not going to be for everyone. It's not going to be for everyone's budget. But I, I do believe that we're going to transform 1,000 bodies. To the barbershop I go. So I came back to the office after the barbershop and I, I had a conversation with my man LP. Right now, LP is someone who I've known of. We haven't been friends, but I've known of for years. Like I used to be on the rap scene. He was a DJ, and but he's someone I respect. He's a very successful DJ. He's a radio personality. He's a husband. He's a veteran. And he's someone who I know has been struggling with his weight for a while and I wanted to just talk some life into him and just kind of get him to understand why it's important to prioritize fitness and nutrition and um, so I'm about to play some highlights from that conversation and after that I'm gonna just wrap the vlog up but um there's some real golden nuggets in here so check this out what I did with my body mm -hmm. you could do that shit well no, I think everybody gets that like seriously though no nah, everybody gets that but it's like uh you know, where, uh, so I'm a big believer in not only in momentum, but also character. Mm -hmm. Like, character is revealed by your circumstance. Mm. So, like, like my circumstance, like right now, my, my wife is gone, mm -hmm. you know, and I want to pursue my passion. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to make it happen. And what does that include? That includes late nights, that includes, working until I get bags under my eyes. Mm -hmm. That includes uh, stress. I love that. I'm an alpha winner. Like, yeah. I, I, I have to win. Yeah. But see, the thing is, is like when it comes to like working out and stuff like that, it's like... But do you realize that that's the most important thing? Like, yeah, yeah, I, I know my health not, is. Yeah, your health, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Not your wife, not your dream, nothing if you don't physically and mentally. So, like, I, I can, yeah, I don't got somebody saying, like, get up, go to the gym, so like, accountability you, partner, but it's just, like, I got time for it. So, when you, so, are you currently not on it? No, I'm not on it. Okay. So, why? Because also, like, I'm, I'm up at... 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, in my career. I'm still trying to get to the part where you don't prioritize fitness. Like, wh why is it not a priority for you? Okay, so I I already don't get enough sleep because of, like, military stuff. 
You know what I'm saying? Because of military stuff, what do you mean? So, like, I have really bad nightmares. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? PTSD? Yeah. Okay. So, like, mm-hmm. it, you'll probably see it. Like, I got, a, I got a twitch in my eye, and I, I got all this work to do. Is it work that you put on yourself? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what's your nutrition like? Uh, off and on. What does that mean? So, like, um, I'm in the habit of putting my food in regardless if it's good or not that's a good habit so it's a i put it in my tracker tracker good and i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> it's a wake up call i'll be like you know, dang bro yeah. i ate four thousand calories a day yeah. like yeah yeah let me get a lemon pound cake you know that's <laughs> real no, i get it and the, the fact that you i've never tracked four thousand calories Oh, bro, it's it's and, like and I've eat, I know I've had plenty of days where I've eaten four thousand plus, but tracking that it's like the Instagram video. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, boom, yeah, boom. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit though. Like that, 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 that's character right there. Be careful. I don't know how strong that chair is. But. Once again, I need to watch my four thousand calories. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke about living to 80, 90 years old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. On this path that you're on, the way that you're living, I'm gonna make it to sixty. Okay, so with that knowledge, mm-hmm. why isn't it priority number one over over work, over anything to take care of yourself? Make sure to make sure that you are physically in tune. Because that's gonna I'm telling you, it's going to make you but, 2.0. But I know that. Alright, so if you know that, why? Why are you not on? So I got to win. You got to win. With what I'm doing right now, my goals are like, I have to put everything into this. That's something you're telling yourself. You don't, you, listen, you can afford to spend 25 minutes a day in your house exercising if if you want to stop getting hot and cold with fitness Mm -hmm. you have to find a way even if you don't enjoy it to not hate it as much as you probably do when you do it now so there's a huge difference in the way that i feel when i'm eating correctly Mm -hmm. and working out the way i feel well let me stop you there so what's what's your biggest roadblock when it comes to nutrition like why why isn't it is it priority? I think it's access. It's, okay. Access, like, with what I do, I'm not at home. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you're addicted to, to, to satiate? Oh, bro, bro, listen, listen, listen. Straight up. At night, I haven't DJed. When I got when I was in Hawaii, I never, I didn't DJ. Mm. I didn't DJ, not one. I didn't even take my stuff with me. Mm-hmm. My first gig that I had when I got back to Charlotte, mm. 2.30 in the morning. I got off. I got in the car and I said, damn, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. So is this something that you mentally connect to? Straight up. Mm. And, I w- and I was like, I was like, yo, I ate before I got there. I need to get in the bed. I got to go to the gym in the morning. But I was hungry. So No, you weren't. Uh, no, no, but I wasn't. But, you wasn't, but, exactly. But, but I was hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I told myself, like, I, I was hungry. Yeah. The, you know it. Yeah, you know it. You know it. I know when I'm, I'm, bro, I'm about to eat this Chick fil A. And I love some Chick fil A. Me too. <laughs> bro, it's spicy, like, oh, I'm thinking about it right now, dog. Like, oh, yeah. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I like a spicy chicken sandwich. So when you wake up in the morning after you eat that stuff, bro, oh God. you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I told you I got problems with my hands. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's you. You you're not in tune with it because you're just like, oh, I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Why do I yeah. feel like this? That's so true. Oh, I need a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee turns into a latte. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, I feel like crap anyways. Mm-hmm. But it's it's just like, yo, you could have just not had that. Straight up. 
And it's easier said than done. I get it. I get it. But I think when you start paying attention more, and it seems like you're in tune. Like, the fact that you said that, it's like you're so groggy. You kind of don't even notice how the food really is beating you up. You think it's the lack of sleep. I mean, all, it's It's, it's all everything, of yeah. It's all of it. Yeah, yeah. But you got to pay attention. Like, and I, and that's, that was a breakthrough for me. When I started paying attention to how I felt when I ate certain things or how I felt when I exercised this much or I didn't exercise and I ate this or I had this many drinks, like being totally aware of how my body responds, it kind of made it less appealing when I started being able to say it was because I ate this last night that I mm -hmm. feel like shit right now. Mm -hmm. So now when it, and it, not saying it, it's, a, it's a process that's taken a long time, mm -hmm. right? But now it's like I instantly connect eating something to how the fuck I feel in the morning. Yeah. And I, I'm addicted to feeling great when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, bro. It, it, you don't know that feeling until you really get yeah. that feeling. Yeah. And I think, I think uh, like a lot of people, like before I went to Hawaii, I didn't know that feeling. Mm. I don't know, man. My thing is like I, like I know what getting control of my, my nutrition and fitness, obviously, it really elevated me in every other area of life. Like, so I don't really think you understand. You're alpha winner, but you can fucking almost like double your your productivity and, and getting closer and closer to if you really prioritized fitness and nutrition. I'm telling you, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause just think about, I'm you're a smart guy, bro. You know it. Just confidence alone. Thanks, man. No, seriously, you are. I mean, yeah. I, we haven't had a lot of conversations, but that's something that's very obvious from not just your social media, but just speaking to you in general, bro. You're you're a smart guy. Thanks. You're very aware. You, you you're a lot smarter than a lot of people. I know I'm about to go get this fast food. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and, and that's the thing. You're you're honest with yourself. Super. But I I just the all right. Your gift, whatever you plan to do with your life. The world needs the best you. Hmm. And you're not the best you right now. Oh, yeah, I know that. You're not. And you're not. Health. Health-wise. Because health also, I mean. also mentally, <laughs> like, so, like, mentally, you're, you're absolutely right. Not to, like, cut you off or anything. Yeah, yeah, like, no, 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 but, like, when you talk to, like, when you talk to somebody like me where it's black and white, I know. Mm -hmm. I can tell you. Mm -hmm. And that's not. A Bricks, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. you're right. I mean, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? But you just gotta. If I die tomorrow, yes, I'll I'll regret, you know, not not putting my health forward. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people do that. You know what I mean? Like, cats who, you know, you know they're over. They know they're overweight. They know this and that. And at the end, like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna say? Are you 100 percent comfortable with? How you feel and how you look to the point where you're like, I'm I'm good. I, I accept it. I have my my pace that I go at with my exercise. I do my three years. Oh, okay. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Because also like, once again, the way that I am, I I'm disappointing my wife. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm also more than importantly, I'm disappointing myself. But to me, I have my goals. Um. It's like I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, like you have my foundation is isn't as strong as it could be. Mm -mm. With health, by as far, a, you don't know how much stronger your foundation, right? That's the word you use, yeah. can be if you got if you prioritize your your health, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 telling you this. You don't you. I'm pretty sure you, you don't understand it. And that's one of those things. Like, you don't know how good you feel. Like, you didn't know how how it felt to wake up in the morning until Hawaii, right? To yeah. wake up feeling good in the morning. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing, bro. You don't know how, like, you can 10x whatever you're doing, bro. Yeah. If you just felt 100%. All my production, all everything, my DJing, everything. Everything. Yeah. Your whole brand would just explode to a whole nother level. You know what's crazy? Like, um, so, like, I have a... Um, I, I'll just put the name out. So I have Porsche on the table. Okay. Very authentic brand. Very gentleman's brand. Mm -hmm. They want to spend a lot of money. And they love what I'm 
doing mm -hmm. per se with my career mm -hmm. but i feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. with putting myself in that light with such a big brand yeah yeah and because i start to i start to question myself like yo they they love me but i could be so much better to not only myself but them and this is what as I a client this, you know it you yeah. you you get it you know exactly what I'm trying to say to you right yeah, now. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. And it doesn't take it's not it doesn't you don't have this to is time you don't invested. have to No, you don't have to pull too much time away from what you're doing, bro. It's mm. not. It's a few little pivots, mm. little adjustments here, a little adjustment there mm. that over the next 18 months, 24 months, the rest of your life will make a world of difference. Yeah. It's compound interest. Small things. I'm not a. I'm, I'll never tell clients to make drastic changes. Like I'm not a. Oh, fan it's not going to work out. Yeah, no, it never does. Yeah. It never does. You have this fire in your belly, bro. Oh, it's there. Yeah, you have it. It's a Chick Fil A. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, you, you're you're a doer. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You know what it takes to get anything done, whether it's business, relationship. Whatever you know, you have what it takes to get it done. Your 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 energy is just you don't feel like it's important enough to put that kind of fire, that type of action to this when it's it is. Mm -hmm. It's super important, and this is what you got to do. You have to tie it to your your the goals that are most important to you. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to somehow rewire it and connect it to that because. And that's an obvious thing. It's connected. Just like you said with this poor situation, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to think about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, it's, you don't have to take away a whole bunch of time and energy from, from what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's, it's less invasive and intrusive than you would think. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And it's, it's some willpower. It's some, you know, being... It's a, it, I'd, love to, I'd love to be a part of that with you. Mm -hmm. Um. But you, it gotta be important to you, it, because right now you get you get this, and it's. It, I would be so frustrated working with you because I feel like, you know, you know, and you kind of got this like I know what I'm doing kind of vibe. Like, no, no, I, I know what I'm understand? doing, but I also know what I'm not doing. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. And it's it's not that it's not a priority to me. It is not. You said it. But it's you something. Said it. But something. Else is a priority to me. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. No, no, it is like, like you know, what I'm saying priority like, means this is more important than this. Two things can't be priority. They can though. Do you get what I'm saying though? Yeah, like I I'm justifying. You, you, you I'm get. justifying, and and that's part of my habit though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just like going two thirty in the morning after work, like that's part of my habit, and I have to be real with myself and say, yo, like it's worth it. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like, but mm -hmm. I, I get that. Mm -hmm. I get what I'm doing to myself. Yeah. Okay. I, I get it. That's a, that's a step. Because some people, it's subconscious. No, no, but I, I get what else it, it takes, too. You know what it is, too? It's like my frustration of how quick it's not happening. Yes, yeah, a lot of people's problems. Yeah. And that's the thing. You don't want it to happen quick. You want it to, but really you don't. Yeah. Because... And this is what I, and it's crazy. On my podcast today, I was talking to my co host, his wife, who took three years to lose 40 pounds, right? But what happened is, in that she took three years, I mean, 40, I could lose 40 pounds in six weeks, mm -hmm. like when I was big. So, but what happens is, when you lose weight quickly, you are still the same person, right? You're still the same person with the Mind same mindsets, yeah, yeah. the same habits, the same everything. But when you take your time, you are slowly changing your habits. You're changing who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, something I always say is the, the body you want is owned by a different version of you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't become that different person, even if you get the body, it's not going to stay. Mm -hmm. So you do want it to be slow, which is, it makes more sense because then it's it's less invasive, like I said, on what your, your, your schedule is right now. You don't yeah. have to just do small things, bro. Hmm. Like small things, and you'll be surprised how fast these small little adjustments compound over time, bro. And it's not a lot of time. We talking, you know, like, think about what the last two years of your life, how fast it went, bro. Yeah, why? Quick. Yeah. Quick. 
But just think about what a little change can do over two years when mm -hmm. we're talking about nutrition and fitness. Mm -hmm. It could be a big, it can make a big, you could transform your whole entire life mm -hmm. in two years making small changes consistently. It's like, uh, like financially. When you make some small changes, you start to see it. Exactly. And you like, you check your account or you check your investments. Mm -hmm. And you like, oh, ho, ho, ho. and then it doubles down. You know what I'm saying? Compound. And then you like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. This is what it is. Like, okay, this is really paid off. Yeah. And I guess when you start to like look at yourself over time physically, the little things happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I messed up. I ate such and such. The next morning, you look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, I'm fat again. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what I'm saying? Matter. But your body, uh, on some real shit, man, your body, it, it knows what to do. Mm -hmm. If you've been on this, like, I, I could eat clean for five days. Completely clean. Juice. Hitting my macros, everything. Five days, bro. I look completely different. Mm -hmm. My face is thinned yeah. out. My hair's a little shinier. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your like, body loves it. It loves it. It loves it. Yeah. And the thing is, you don't. And that's kind of, that's drastic to say I'm gonna go completely clean for five days. That's drastic. You know. But I love that though. Yeah. You're right. I but do. That's not something that you can sustain. Yeah. You want to do something that you can you can make you can do forever. Yeah. And that's way more valuable. Yeah. Way more valuable. What, what good is that, you know, five days and then now I'm back, you know, I'm feeling all amazing, but then boom, I'm back to my Flip home. and pound cake. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. it's not. It's, it's not valuable at all. It's a fucking tease. And it's actually very bad for your body. Mm -hmm. That yo yo in. You know what I'm saying? Because your body's like, yo, what the hell is going on? And I just feel amazing and now I feel like shit. Yeah. Like, that shit's not good. Yeah. So just it's small changes, bro. That's all it is, bro. Yeah. It's, Little, even if you just started off by saying, boom, this is what I'm going to do. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to not go out to eat after work. When I leave the club, I'm going to go home. And if I do, if I do want to eat something, I'm going to go home and I'm just going to eat some fucking eggs or some shit. Even though you know you don't have to eat anything. You could go to sleep. You're not hungry. You ate before you went there. Everybody knows, man, McDonald's french fries are amazing. Yeah. They are. Yeah, no, They're amazing. They are. You know what I'm saying? But... I gotta be real with myself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, you know, it sounds like you know exactly what to do, bro. I know, I know I do. And just, I've done it. You know, it's stress too. It's stress. Like my lady being gone, and because because she's not excuses, here. I know these are they're all excuses. Yeah, because, and they have no merit, to be honest. And if you stop believing that these are reasons, real reasons, it'll empower you. 